What's up guys, this is Simon and in this video I wanted to go ahead and go over top 10 movies that all entrepreneurs or inspiring business people should watch. In fact, these are some motivating movies that I personally have found to be not only entertaining but also helpful in regards to the pursuit of that entrepreneurial career. And as you guys know, this is an entrepreneurial finance channel where we go over a lot of different things that are associated with being successful, the luxuries that come with it, and the money management that you have to have to continue to build wealth. So before I get into these top 10 movies, I always remind you guys, hit the like button for me and subscribe to my channel. As always, I appreciate it. Let's get into this. So these movies are in no order. This is not a judgment or a rating based on the movie. These are just basically top 10 in any order that I find to be really inspiring movies for entrepreneurs. The first movie, of course, one that involves our daily lives, which is Facebook and Instagram, is called The Social Network. I personally enjoyed watching this movie of how Facebook came to be from the Stanford students that launched a social platform, which was originally meant for college discussions or getting to know your peers in college and has become a conglomerate, one of the biggest companies in America today. Something that's on a different level altogether nowadays. Movie was released in 2010. That seems like it was so long ago. It's a story about Mark Zuckerberg and how he started Facebook. And it became the most popular social network in the world. It actually took over MySpace, which was the network before Facebook came out. Why would you watch The Social Network? It really just gives you a glimpse of what it is to become an entrepreneur and run a startup. And it's really inspiring from the beginning time to where it grew. So every time I watch that movie or when I did watch that movie, it motivates me and I think it will motivate you as well. So The Social Network is my number one. I would say number two is probably one of my most favorites. It's a classic. It's Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. This is about real estate in Chicago and how tough business and and sales can be. It shows how vicious people are, how hungry they are in terms of money, how on top of your game you have to be. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross is a must watch for any entrepreneur, including anyone in the real estate market and in sales as well. Although this film was filmed in 1992 or released in 1992, it still applies today. The viciousness of the sales process, the competitiveness is still there. There's another movie that's on the list. It's called The Pirates of Silicon Valley. Now, this movie is about Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. It was released in 1999 as a series that kind of went over their lives. It's a very interesting film. You would probably enjoy it as an entrepreneur to see what they had to deal with. But because the dynamic has shifted from the traditional startup of what was new back then, now everything has advanced so much that that may not apply as it does in today's world because technology has advanced so much. So you're not building the first computer. You're probably not building the first app. You're really trying to solve a problem or make something better nowadays versus being the pioneer in that industry. What I like about that movie is, or serious is it provides a really good iconic to learn from advice from two of the biggest pioneers in the technology industry ever. So there are a lot of learning lessons for young entrepreneurs, especially those in the tech industry in that particular movie or serious. Okay, here's an entrepreneur slash business movie that kind of ends sadly and you have to mix in that lifestyle with your business a lot of entrepreneurs out there they tend to be either very heavily involved in work which makes them successful or not involved as much and that makes the business fail my number four pick is citizen kane it's a orson wells 1941 masterpiece it's considered one of the greatest movies of all time it follows a successful businessman and what he realizes at the end of the movie is that business success and life happiness do do not equate. So although that's what he wanted in terms of the personal business success, in the end you see, and I'm not gonna spoil this for you guys, but you could kind of see that there's two different factors to happiness in life. And this is a great balance for entrepreneurs to know. You could have all the money in the world, but the money will just amplify who you are and you have to work on being happy. Money won't make you happy. Money will just make you rich, but it will not complete you. So that's what Citizen Kane kind of goes into and it's a classic, you have to watch it if you're a fan of movies or even anything business or entrepreneur related. Number five. Oh man, I remember this movie when I was younger, In Pursuit of Happiness with Will Smith. This is about a stockbroker, a 
black or African-American individual. There was not a lot of hedge fund people during that time that were black or African-American, and he defied all the odds. He became a billionaire nowadays. I believe he's in the San Francisco area. But this movie really touched me because it showed the struggle that you have to have as any type of entrepreneur, business person, etc. The guy slept in train stations. He literally pushed himself out there so his kid could have a better life. And in the movie, it's so touching that you're going to shed a tear watching it. It's a great success story. Very motivational for those of you guys that are struggling at home or in business and want to achieve or do more. His work ethic was tremendous in the movie and that's what really made him successful. He got the opportunity. He recognized the opportunity, worked harder than anyone else, and he got rewarded and became a billionaire. And that is probably one of the best movies that you could watch for motivation. And because there's a child involved in the movie, it really made it emotional as a father. I can understand that concept. And that's why we always do more as fathers as well. Check out In Pursuit of Happiness if you have not done so already. Number six, Moneyball with Brad Pitt. That is a classic, guys. Love that movie. Now, you don't need to be a baseball fan to watch that movie. There's a lot of business aspects in it. There's a lot of entrepreneur aspects in Moneyball. The movie kind of goes into the fact that the franchise didn't have enough money to spend on players. Brad Pitt's character had to be creative in how he would acquire top talent to the team, even though he couldn't pay the top talent price. This teaches you a lot how to hire top talent, not necessarily pay them the top prices or not making money a factor in success of the company. Especially when you're starting up as an entrepreneur, you're wearing many hats and you don't have a lot of funds to pay a lot of these people to up your business. So you have to be creative and that's what this movie teaches you. And it teaches you to keep going, not listen to the people that have doubted you. Well, number seven, you can't have an inspirational discussion without mentioning one of the most inspiring movies of all time and one of my role models in terms of family and success and motivation it's Sylvester Stallone's Rocky in that movie Rocky you got the most amount of motivation never giving up attitude it's very important to have that component into your entrepreneurial life or into any business endeavor or even a successful life so that movie teaches you a lot about moving forward never giving up and how tough life really is so you'll never succeed if you stop fighting and Rocky teaches you to keep fighting number eight Wall Street. Yes, it's an older movie, but it's really nice. In 1987, this was a classic entrepreneurial business film that applies to today's world. It also goes into ethics and legality, and it's centered around the legal activity in the business world of Wall Street. The motto that greed is good is discussed in this movie. It's amplified, and it also shows you what greed does in business. Greed in terms of fraud, activities, etc., is not a good thing as an entrepreneur. So at one point, if you are greedy or fraudulent, you're going to get caught. Really good lessons in this movie and something you have to watch as an entrepreneur hoping to step up your game or level to the highest level in business. So watch Wall Street with Michael Douglas. You will not regret it. Okay, so if you love football, you might have seen this movie with Tom Cruise and Cuba Gooding Jr., Jerry Maguire. It was an entertaining flick about an agent and a football player and the relationship they built. But in there, there's discussions, there's personalities, there's never giving up. Really exciting things that happen in that movie where Jerry Maguire really believes in one client, goes to bat for him, and in the end, he gets that contract with the football team. I believe it was Arizona at the time. So show me the money. That's what this is about. Good movie. Check it out. It's entertaining. Show me the money! And that was my number nine movie. Finally, 10, Wolf of Wall Street. This one stars Leonardo DiCaprio. The original Wolf of Wall Street has his own YouTube channel as well. This was a really cool film to watch where it mixed in drugs, success, selling, never giving up. It just kind of combined everything in there. It leads a story of incredible success, incredible downfalls, and just things you don't experience unless you're super rich. So it's really funny to watch. And it also shows the downside of being very wealthy. And again, that money amplifies whatever you do versus how happy you are. I bet if the real Wolf of Wall Street was to have a conversation, say, with me or anyone else, he would tell you that he would take less money today and a more stable life with his loved ones, family, etc. than just really that crazy lifestyle where he almost died on several occasions, but had this amount of money that only people dream of. So anyway, that's my 10. I know there are some movies in there that we probably missed. Comment below if you think any other movie should be added to this list or should be bumping off another movie from this list. But these are the 10 that 
that I kind of thought about. There's a lot of movies in terms of entrepreneurial advice, and these are great to start with. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please go ahead and hit the like button for me and subscribe to the channel. As always, I appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys here in the next video. Keep up and keep moving forward, guys.